Rushers, my name's Kyler and this is BitRush Crypto. In today's video, we're going to be covering how to stake your Solana on your Soul Flare wallet, which is the native wallet to Solana. So obviously as part of that, we're going to teach you how to create and use your Soul Flare wallet. If all that sounds good, you know what to do. Tap on that thumbs up button. You can find links in the description below for all my social media and investment projects. And here we go. Okay, coming over to solana.com forward slash validators, we can find a little bit more information about becoming a validator if you'd like to do that. However, today we're going to stick to staking. And we can see here it says stakers are rewarded for helping to validate the ledger. They do this by delegating their stake to validator nodes. Those validators do the legwork for repaying the ledger and send notes to a per note vote account to which stakers can delegate their stakes. The rest of the clusters use those stake weighted votes to select the block when forks arise. Alright, so if we click here, it brings us over to docs.solana.com forward slash staking. And this will take you through the entire process if you need help at any point. However, I'm going to go through everything in depth in this video. If you guys aren't familiar with what the Solana project is in general, because I kind of did just skip ahead that, it's because I have another video. So if you guys want, you can find that video linked in the description below and should also be popping up in the top right hand corner. Now, if you guys want, come over here and watch that video and then come on back to this one and learn how to get set up with Stake. Staking. There are several wallets that are available for use with the staking. However, we're going to stick with the native wallet, which is strictly built for um, Solana, and it's called Soulflare, and we can find that here at soulflare.com. You can see at soulflare.com it says a non-custodial wallet for Solana. Perfect, that's exactly what we want. Soulflare is a simple and intuitive interface that helps you connect to the Solana blockchain and manage your soul. And coming down just a little bit, we have all of the block information. We have Soulflare staking accounts. You can now see in real time how fast Soulflare is gaining traction. So it's pretty fast growing. And here's a little bit more about Soulflare. It's just telling you, you know, Soulflare is the first digital wallet created exclusively for Solana. We designed this wallet to be simple and elegant solution for Solana users that want easy access to manage their tokens. That is us. With Soulflare, you can now generate and access for free non-custodial digital wallet and easily stake your soul. Okay, so you can also use it here with a ledger. You guys can see the Ledger S or the Nano X is available, or we can just use a key store file and uh, has staking made easy. So this is why we're using this one. There's several other wallets. If we come back and we can read a little bit more about some of these other wallets. However, Soulflare is gonna be the easiest and it is native and built um, strictly for Solana. So to me, it seems like the best option, but it says here, uh, Soulflare is the first wallet that allows users to also stake their soul. The process of staking used to require the use of command line interface, but with Soulflare, it becomes an intuitive experience that takes only a couple of minutes. So there are other wallets you can do it. Like I said, you need to use command line or a couple of them you don't get to choose your validator. You can just stake and it automatically matches you up with someone. So just keep that in mind and do your due diligence if you guys aren't planning on using the sole wallet. There is an FAQ here and one thing that I just want to point out that I find kind of interesting it says that you can't add soul to an already existing staked account. Okay, so if you've staked your soul and you want to add more, you have to actually create a separate staking account for each delegation. So that's a little bit weird. Uh, maybe they'll change that in the future because, you know, if you want to add uh, more to it, it seems like it's a little bit of a process having to add another account, even sending it to the same validator. So, you know, I don't know what's going on with that, but just keep that in mind, guys, that make sure you have a large amount um, that you're not looking to add to because you're only going to be able to use um, that one amount without having to set up another account here or undelegate it, group it together, and then re um, you know, delegate to a validator. So a little bit of a process on that. Just keep it in mind. Just something that you guys should be aware of. And finally, let's get going. Let's create a wallet. 
just click the create a wallet button and that will prompt you with this message welcome to soulflare what is soulflare it is a crypto wallet for solana just click next you are responsible for keeping your funds and no one else not even soulflare so basically they're telling you guys as always make sure you write down um you know two different places in case you lose it you have a backup don't show it to anyone you're responsible your keys your wallet if you're using a ledger the process is going to be a little bit differently we're using a key store file which means that you have a file and you need a password for it so you need to remember that for access and have that file available here's the information for the ledger If you lose your password, you lose everything. And let's get started. So again, we're going to use the key store file. Choose a password, make sure it's something good that you don't use for anything else and, and make sure it's something you're not going to forget. Next, you're going to need to download your key store file. I recommend uh, possibly putting this on a secure USB drive somewhere you can throw in a safe or a safety deposit box or something like that where you might keep um, another file with all of your keys or whatever you guys do for security. Just make sure you have a backup. Now we're going to need to upload that file. And we're going to need to upload this file every single time we log in. So again, guys, make sure it's somewhere you can get it. Um, you know, USB works great. Okay, so now that we have a wallet available, we can access that wallet. Click access, and we're going to upload our file and enter our previously made password. Next click access. And here we go. You're now in your wallet and you have a address available for copy and paste. We can see our balance and we can transfer soul all of our transactions down below. First thing you're going to want to do is put this thing in dark mode. Easy on the eyes. Next, we're going to need to pick up some soul and send it to our newly created wallet. I'm not going to give recommendations on where you should purchase your coins. That's up to you. You guys can get these on pretty much every DEX available. Personally, I think the best options are Binance or Coinbase. And I have links for both of them in the descriptions below if you need an account to get signed up. I appreciate using the links as it does help the channel. Next, you're going to simply copy your address and send your coins to this address here. I'm going to send about $100 worth just to get started as we are currently. I'm seeing a little bit of a correction in the market here, and I don't want to invest too much in a bearish market. Okay, once you've sent yourself some soul and you have a little bit in your wallet, you're now ready to stake. Again, you're only going to be able to stake one amount, and next time you stake, you're going to need to create a separate staking account. To help you decide who the best validator for your tokens to be delegated to, they do have a nice website called solanabeach.io. Here we can view all kinds of stats about the network. And choosing validator tab, we do have a list of all of the validators available. Another nice thing that is available here is you can search by the different um, you know, titles here. So one thing I'm going to look for personally, not financial advice as always. Always do your own due diligence and your own research and never invest more money than you can personally afford to lose. But I'm looking for something with a low commission, which means I get to keep more of my tokens. Another thing that I generally like to look for 
is that it has a low number of percentage of the overall total stake and thus I am helping to kind of um, decentralize the network because if you only choose the top tier ones guys that basically centralizes the network to the top two or three validator nodes so I actually like this one right here shinobi systems stakeview.app it has um, 3.1 percent cumulative stake the commission is zero percent and they're only 0.82 which is less than one percent of the entire network so great place to put my coins I've already done a little bit of research on them guys so again make sure you research on your own before choosing a validator to stake with and if you click into each one of the validators, we can find all the further information about them for you guys to do your research, including the past times they got paid and the amount of soul and the percentages paid out. Once we have a validator chosen, we can come back to our Soulflare wallet and choose the staking tab up on the top. And here it's going to say the simplest way to get started, create a staking account and start delegating now. So get started. You're going to need some tokens to pay for your transactions on the network, so make sure you don't stake the entire amount of your wallet's contents, or it will be stuck in there until you send more tokens into your wallet. I'm going to leave about 1.66 and go ahead and stake 2.8, which is just under $100 at 94.78 as of the price today. Click next and please enter the password. This is your account password here, guys. And now we just wait for the transaction to confirm on the network. There we go, success. We can see here, account created and funds deposited. Staking address, so it gives you a separate address for that staking account that you created. And you're gonna to need to create another staking account if you want to add more tokens. It's gonna to be in a separate account. And once you're done here, we can then click finish. If you want, you can view the transaction or the account. And we do see this little message here, warning message. It says Soulflare might experience one to two minute delays when showing new staking accounts or changes to current ones. So as we can see, we just made a staking account here, guys, and it's not showing up. So nothing to worry about. Let's wait a couple minutes and keep in mind that if you refresh, you're going to have to re-log in. So uh, I do recommend just kind of waiting a few minutes and we'll check back in a minute. Okay, I'm going to be honest that it did take at least 15 minutes for this to show up in my account here under staking. However, back under wallet, the transaction was available in my wallet almost instantly. I was able to see the transaction ID. And if we want, we can click in on that and it will open up our explorer.solana.com for the transaction. We can see it was successful and finalized. And coming down, we can see it actually does create like a separate wallet. And we click into that address. We can see the amount of tokens we just staked there, just delegated, was 2.8. So that's good. And then we can see the authority. So we see the stake authority address is ours and the withdraw address is ours. So it creates almost like a sub account that gives all of the authority back to the main account. And you can have multiple of those accounts as well. And uh, coming down here, it also tells you a little bit more information about your account. If we want, we can go into rewards. And there's not going to be anything here yet because we obviously just started a second ago. And coming to tokens and there's nothing there either. But just nice to know that that is available if you guys want to look here on the Explorer for all the information about your account. So coming back to the Soulflare wallet, let's go back to our staking and we can see we've now created a new staking account that has 2.8 soul and we can see the seed and the status is not delegated yet and clicking into that it also gives us a little bit more information here. Um, sees the address and all of the information basically that we just saw in the last one. We can also split the account and create another like sub account. And if you notice here, it says stake zero. So if we were to create another account, the next one's going to be one and then two and then three. So it just creates them in a sequential order. And you're also able to withdraw from here. We're now going to delegate our funds to a validator that we chose in the last step. 
So just click in on your account and click delegate now. This will open up a list of all of the delegators. Make sure you know who it is you're looking for as it makes it a lot easier to just type it in. Once you've found the validator that you're looking for, just click next. You're going to again need to enter your password. And transaction complete. We can view it on the blockchain if we'd like or just simply close. Notice that it says not delegated. It'll probably take another 15 minutes to show up in here, but let's see if we can find it back in the transactions on our wallet. So nope, it's not gonna be here because it's under that sub account. However, if we come back to the explorer.solana for our new staking address, we can see that transaction is on the blockchain here confirmed one minute ago. Clicking into it, we can find all of the information. It has finalized. And we can find the relevant information down at the bottom here on the delegate stake. We can see my um, staking address here and then delegated vote and authority address. So this is my address and this is who I'm delegating to. This is my staking address and everything is successful. I'll update you in just a minute here as soon as this refreshes. Okay, after waiting another couple minutes, we can see our status has updated to activated and it started zero epics ago, which means it hasn't actually bonded in. But if we do click into the account, we can now see all the information about who our validator is. We can see the credits observed, the active stake, which is zero because we haven't actually bonded our funds the inactive stake, which is the total amount we have there, and then our delegated stake, which is the total amount minus the fee to get in. And coming back to the top, we can view our rewards, which obviously I have zero. Okay, that's basically everything for today's video. Hopefully you guys found this step-by-step -step how to tutorial easy enough to follow and you were able to set up your Soul Flare wallet and get your Solana Soul tokens staked and delegated to a validator of your choice. If you guys did enjoy the content, again, please smash that thumbs up. Make sure you're subbed to my channel. Bell to be notified on all drops members only for early access for most content. Happy crypto and let's get that coin.